If you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere in the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be ranking all of the golden tickets in Madden. Now, guys, now that the year's pretty much over, content wise, we've gotten all the golden tickets. I saw a tier maker list for golden tickets, and I think this would be super fun to go over kind of what I think about each golden ticket so you guys can kind of see what my, my thoughts were throughout this whole process of each and every one. Now, guys, there is super. There's A, there's B, there's C, and there's D. Now, for a golden ticket to be in D, now don't don't, don't say because they're golden tickets they can't be in D. I'm gonna go based off of based on each golden ticket. So it's not gonna be like, oh, they should all be S and A's because they're great cards. I'm gonna go in comparison to the best ones versus the worst ones. So hopefully, you know, I don't think we'll find too many in D, but there may be a few that I really just didn't like. Now starting off with actually, story intro real quick, guys. Make sure you're down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on boys, come join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up as always, and if you haven't already. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of this video if you've been enjoying the tier list. And guys, if you haven't also, let me know what you would rank. Who is your three best golden tickets in your opinion? So start with Calvin. Um, I think Calvin's going to go in the S category. Now, I wasn't always the best. I wasn't always on Calvin for safety cards, but this one specifically has hits like Sean Taylor, fast as hell, six foot five. If you guys use your safety of the ultimate weapon right here, he can just do everything. And he happens to be six foot five, which is so disruptive on post routes or trying to do beaters because even if you beat him his height may be enough just to make up for it and still swat that ball it's so big on deep routes it's big on you if you use your safety to jump around you have someone for a reach zach gentry i'm gonna put zach gentry in hmm put him in b didn't think he was the greatest tight end but i still think he was i think he was good he was a good his stats were good but like it wasn't like that appealing to me julio jones is going to go in the Ooh. He's just, he's a weapon. He's got to go in ass. Like, he can do everything. He can catch. He can route run. He's able to just do about everything you need him to do. Catch, route run. He's tall. He can, he can do, he can juke. I think he got, I think he even got human joystick. This car was unbelievable. He can stiff arm. Mike Evans. So, Mike Evans, I really liked. A lot of people didn't like him, but I thought he was great. Mike Evans is going to go in A for me. I feel like he really just complements the whole nice, big physical cornerback kind of like armada if you want to do that, like him. Ramsey, Night Train Lane, I think that'd be super cool. Reggie White. Hmm. So, everyone claims that Reggie White was really, really, really bad. But, stat-wise, I feel like you got to be putting him in at least, in at least B, because he still was a great-looking end. But everyone said he was really bad, so I'm going to go with that, because everyone, like, not one person I know had a good recommendation about that guy. Josh Allen, for my opinion, goes in B. Why is he going B? Because out of all the other quarterbacks, he's not the best one. I don't think he's the second best one. So well, I can't put him in S or A. Taylor Mays, that card's got to go in S. Those stats are just crazy. He was able to do just about everything on the field. Hit, zone, man, run, jump, catch. He could do everything. I really thought this card was amazing. Uh, I wish I could have got my hands on him, but he was always so expensive. By the time he wasn't so expensive, I already had Sean Taylor, and that was just a lot cheaper. And he was able to use my power pass. Trey Edmonds, I really didn't like. I thought Trey Edmonds was a bad card. Now, the reason for that is just because we have, I'm through the halfback, right? I can believe, I'm not, not bugging out here. I believe there's just better halfback options. We had to be a Bo Jackson, which is just phenomenal. He was all unbelievable. Saquon, which is better than most halfbacks for most of the year, minus abilities. I just didn't think he was that usable, and that's why he was super cheap. Lamar Jackson. Now, Lamar Jackson take the first spot overall right here. I believe he was the greatest quarterback in Madden. He was able to, he had maxed out throwing, maxed out running. Gets human joystick, gets evasive, gets gunslinger, gets conductor, gets hot rod mask, anything you wanted to get. This card just overall, there was no holes in his game. And that's something you don't always see that often when it comes to Madden cards. Like, it's just very hard, to, especially when we were at that point. Brian Burns, I think Brian Burns is an A. He was so fast. If you wanted to use him, you honestly could have because he was just so fast. And if you were just rushing off the edge, he was like a Lawrence Taylor on the other side. He was crazy. I really like that Brian Burns card. Muhammad's a new quarterback. I don't want to be mean, but he's going in D. I don't think he's usable. There was like six quarterbacks. He's the worst one. And not just because he's like, he just wasn't a quarterback in my eyes. I just didn't like him. I didn't think he was great. And that's again why he was super cheap. Adrian Peterson. He's going to go in C. I wasn't a fan of Adrian Peterson. Like again, there's just better backs. And the thing with Adrian Peterson was his speed wasn't too great. I believe he didn't get human joystick. He just got like some of his truck and stuff. I mean, he was able to get evasive, obviously. But he didn't get human joystick, which at that point I feel like was an essential on running backs. Uh... 
Keith Bullock, I feel like Keith Bullock has a purpose, which is why he's going to be, people hated on him, but if you really look at Keith Bullock, he had a good zone and good speed. People are going to be like, he can't pass rush or whatever. He was able to stop the run. He was able to run a little bit and he had good zone so he could play in the zone scheme. Now, I don't know if anyone plays in zone schemes in the up because everyone's always, you know, having eight man blitz, but in a regular style regs game, if you could have, like, if you were playing and you're not going, you're not a crazy blitzer like that, you could easily have ran like a three, four scheme with Lawrence Taylor rushing on one side and Keith Bullock in the zone. He would have been a great zone player. Could have even bagged up some routes if you used them properly. I think he would have been better if he was used properly. Jalen Ramsey, in my opinion, was great. Put him right there. I think Jalen Ramsey, great stats. And I just think Ramsey cards always play well. And because they're golden tickets, that means they can get most, well, all of the abilities pretty much that you want to get. Just about. If uh, the archetypes will allow it, it's just a matter of the stats match up to it. He's tall, he's physical, and he can hit, which is why I like. I would like to line him up against uh, the Night Train Lane. And then Mike Evans, that would just been a huge unit right there. Troy Palomalo, I think, was so, so great. I have never seen like that. That's every user linebacker's dream, especially this year with how good the usering was. Guys, that card, max speed, almost max head power, max zone, max man, max play rec. Oh, and he can jump more than any linebacker can, and he has a great catch. So like, you're gonna be catching stuff, spec catching stuff. It was like having Deion Sanders at linebacker that could also hit like a truck. It's unbelievable. I really like that card. Cam Newton, in my opinion, I put him in, oof, Probably with Josh Allen. I feel like Cam Newton and Josh Allen are so similar. I feel like it was pretty much 1A, like, well, 3B, 3, 3A right there. These cards right here, they had similar speeds, similar throwing. You know, I just really didn't see a need for either one of them when you have guys like these right here. Vic and Lamar, I believe, are 1A and 1B, though, for real. Vic, people said Vic was better because of his release or vice versa, something about Lamar. I forgot what people were saying with that, but the thing with Vic and Lamar, if you compare them, they're so close, but Lamar just seems to be better. Lamar was faster. He can throw a bit better. He can throw under pressure a bit better. I think he had better juke. I think he was more agile. Like everything about him was just slightly better. There was like no reason to go Vic over Lamar. Unless you like Michael Vick's release better, or you have a Falcons team team, or an Eagles team team, or whatever you were dealing with that. But that was the only reason I could really justify that. We're Jets or Steelers, by the way. Don't think I forgot about you guys. Brian Dawkins. Brian Dawkins was great, but he's only gonna go in A. Now the reason for that is that there is an ultimate legend Sean Taylor that I feel is like just such a budgety version of these free safeties. That is very similar, can do similar stuff and much cheaper. So I don't think Brian Dawkins is like overwhelmingly the best player's position. Anthony Barr. Gonna put him down here. Wasn't a fan of the Anthony Barr card. He wasn't horrible. He was like kind of like a Keith Bullock kind of build, but at the same time, I just wasn't a fan of him. Thought they could have made him better. Next up, Quincy Nuwa. Quincy Nuwa was decent. No, no, there was better wide receivers than him. He wasn't great. Like he had some 95s in there, 96s as a 99 golden ticket. He wasn't horrible, but I don't think he was like phenomenal. Kravon LeBlanc, honestly, he wasn't bad. His stats were good. He may not be name brand. He may not be what you want, but his stats were good. Regardless of what anyone thinks of the card, his stats weren't bad. I mean, there's really not many guys that went in D besides Muhammad Snu. I just really didn't see a use for that card in the slightest. And honestly, Trey Edmonds could have went down there with him. Yeah, actually, you can go down there with him. It's not keeping lonely. Robert Griffin, I think Robert Griffin. Oh. Is he, I think he's... He's gonna go A because he has a great release, which is what people were saying. He's like an amazing release, super fast. But the issue is he's a worse passer than Lamar and Vic. He's slower than Lamar and Vic. And that's that's like that's all you gotta know. He's a worse passer and he's slower, and he's a running passing quarterback. So his release keeps him in the A category. His name is cool, it's fun to play with, but you gotta keep him down there because you just can't. There's two quarterbacks up here. That's the S-tier quarterbacks. Now, next, we got Bo Jackson. He's obviously right there. That car was great. Every, everything's 99. Everything but catching is 99. He gets every power ability, every evasive ability, and he gets he gets literally everything you want. Inside zone, outside zone, pin and pull, evasive, jukebox, spin cycle, human joystick. The car was everything you needed in the card and more. So, let's adjust this list real quick in case we have to. Oh, let's see. Anyone from the S that can come down? I mean... I really feel as though I put a lot in the S, but at the end of the day, like these were the top cards, I believe, of the golden tickets. I think that was a second wave. I mean, if you guys think I made any mistakes, let me know down below in the comment section. I would like to see what you guys think as far as like what's your opinion on these tiers and if there could have been anything better that I could have done with them. I, th I mean, I think it's fine. I think these tiers came out pretty good from my opinion. Guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We didn't start in the Xbox screen today. They're, they're most running a little bit low. Sadly, I gotta, I gotta charge it up. But we started from the computer screen today. Felt a little weird, but probably how we should be doing these videos hope you guys enjoyed make sure to subscribe down below like i said join the family turn on the noti bell 
Uh, I'm still on vacation at this point, so you guys are probably seeing this a few days into my trip. Follow me up on Twitter, though, so you guys can see some pictures and some exclusive behind-the-screen behind the footage of the trip. But, that's about it. Comment down below if you guys have anything to add to this list, or you wish there was any other golden tickets that I should have put on or taken off of here. Let me know. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.